Anton Milner recognized early on that solar technology could be a big money earner. So, at your service. So, here's the British-born Milner is one of the founders and the CEO of Q-Cells. Smile, we're on camera. <laughs> Milner shows us around his latest production facility. It's the fourth for Q-Cells, and business is booming. <laughs> Don't let us bother you. Throw us out if you have to. So, Even after seven years, there's a sense of elation here. When Milner asks the workers how they're doing, there's just one answer. They say, everything's great. <laughs> the company has secured enough quantities of the scarce raw material silicon to last for years, having signed a contract with a supplier in China. Q-Cells has now outperformed Japan's Sharp Corporation to become the global leader in the production of solar cells. Last year we produced more than 100 million cells, one after the other. The logistics are enormous. Everything is fine-tuned. Every single piece is individually measured and quality checked before we send it out to our customers. Milner is investing in the latest technology. Right, let's take a look at our most productive employee. His name's Roby. What Roby does is technology we developed ourselves. Q-Cell started with 18 employees. Now it has 1,600. It exports about half the solar cells it produces. They're the building blocks for solar modules and complexes. We have rising energy prices. We have the extremely difficult challenge of climate change. And we have sharply dropping solar photovoltaic costs. At some point, the rising energy prices and plunging photovoltaic costs will intersect. And then we'll really be able to talk about something that's very important. That's a solar future. Solar energy as our main energy source. That's what we're working towards. And one of the largest solar parks in the world has emerged from Q-Cell's efforts. Partner companies have settled nearby, thanks in part to subsidies. The industrial city of Bitterfeld and the state government of Saxony-Anhalt are providing an intact infrastructure. Q Cells is now in the process of building a fifth production line, and a sixth is in the planning stages. Eric Schopp and his friend live in this area. <laughs> the head of Q Cells is investing in them as well. The two are in their first year of training here. The company has 80 trainees in all. This year it plans to take on another 130. <laughs> After two years, Eric and the others should be able to operate the machines and systems in the plant. Eric has his high school diploma. After the training, he could go on to study solar technology, and Q-Cells would cover the cost. This way, the company can secure qualified technicians and engineers for the future. Unemployment is still high in this region, about 16 percent. Training positions are hard to find. Eric sees his position at Q-Cells as a real opportunity. It's a great feeling. I was really glad to get it, partly because this is a big company. And as a young person, you're naturally glad to get a training position like this one, of course. Were you surprised? Not very, because I found the tests pretty easy. And they basically told us it looked like they would hire us. So I was already convinced they would take me. This used to be a green field. Now we're building a global industry. What was your first impression of Bitterfeld? Oh dear. Bitterfeld doesn't have the best reputation, and we were very, very uncertain. But now we're very enthusiastic about what we have here. The employees are great, they're very committed. This is a place where people are used to working flexibly over 24 hours, according to the challenge and qualifications. As far as cooperation with the community and the local authorities and state government is concerned, it's 
excellent. They're really extremely business friendly and actively push us, and the conditions are fantastic. Okay. What's your next deal? Where are you off to in such a rush? I can't tell you that. Now I have to say thank you and I have to get going. And there's no doubt he'll go far. Q-Cells is building a production facility in Malaysia, hoping to corner the growing market for solar technology in Asia as well.